Consumers demand what gives them the most utility for the price. This is basically what utility maximization is. We see on these graphs that we can extend the utility maximization exercise into the realm of demand curves. In the upper graph, we see that S is the price for housing increases from PO to P1 to P2 to P3. The budget constraint on the upper part of the diagram shows shifts to the left. The utility maximizing choice changes from MO to M1 to M2 to M3. As a result, the quantity demanded for housing shifts from QO to Q1 to Q2 to Q3. Caterus paribus. The demand curve graphs each combination of the price of housing and the quantity of housing demanded. Caterus paribus. Indeed, the quantities of housing are the same at the points on both upper and lower graphs. Thus, the original price of housing, PO, and the original quantity of housing, QO, appear on the demand curve as point EO. The higher price for housing, P1, and the corresponding lower quantity demanded for housing, Q1, appear on the demand curve as point E.